peeps, it's Jess Seattle Dessert Geek, and today we're really starting Vlogmas for realsies with a very Seattle advent calendar. Now, most of these lovely prezzies I picked up at Pike Place Market because I was low on time, but the gist of it is to make about a four to six dollar an item kind of stocking stuff for advent calendar to give you guys some ideas. It's eight days because I wanted something that anyone could really enjoy whether for Hanukkah or before Christmas or for Kwanzaa. It's an equal opportunity admin calendar and it's made of recycled paper because that's what I had on hand and seriously what's more like Seattle than recycled paper in an Amazon Prime box. And before I open these goodies you should totally hit that like and subscribe button because that would be super awesome. It keeps getting, keeps me in the holiday spirit, it keeps you getting more awesome videos. It's a win-win. Let's open these guys. Let's start with number one. I don't remember what order I gave any of these. Cheese crackers. These are freaking awesome. These are about $4. This is the Beecher's flagship cheddar cheese cracker, which if you haven't been to Beecher's and seen the cheese in action, please go to Beecher's and see the cheese in action. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, you can actually go to Pike Place Market and they make their cheese on site and you can see everything happening. They have this huge tub and almost always cheese is being made and then you can go try the cheese. First we should try some of these because they're dang tasty. Just smell the cheese. I got the flagship. There's a few other varieties you can pick up. I just want something savory to go in because you know this is going to be mainly a sweet box. It's basically a grown-up, heartier Cheez-It. I feel like they should definitely add more if you're gonna go on full-on Cheez-It. I'd be in for that. Cheese. Moving on. Let's see what's behind door number two. I'm amazed at my packing skills here. I have a lot of tape. And it's coffee, because what's Seattle without coffee? We've got Lighthouse Blend from Beanbox. This I actually picked up during one of their sale things, so I actually got this guy for free. I don't think they're having that offer anymore, but they still have a lot of goodies, and the price point for a taster bag is ridiculously awesome. So my friends who are coffee geeks are gonna be very happy with me this season, let's put it that way. Let's go on to number three. I think you can guess what this is, but you know, there's really no hiding what this kind of thing is. There's something soothing about ripping wrapping paper. Don't know why, just soothing. This guy I picked up from Moon Valley Organics. It's their chocolate comfrey cleansing body bar. This guy cost me six dollars and it's a really good just combo of stuff. We're talking lots of oils, cocoa butter, oat powder, beeswax, chocolate powder, comfrey leaf. It's basically just a very soothing bar. And I will say it smells more like comfrey than it is chocolate, but it's a lovely brown color chilling out. They have a whole bunch of options and I actually saw some really interesting skin creams. You could clearly replace this one with any bar soap that you like. I just was grabbing the easiest one for me to grab today, <laughs> to be honest. Number four. Clearly I went all out with the design here. This guy is part of my love of tea. Winter World Spice came back with Earl Grey tea. I am not going to say that World Spice is the best for tea. They do a solid job though, so I'm always glad to grab some of their stuff. And they have some really interesting blends, like a very earthy, smoky Northwest blend and some other fun stuff. And if you're going to be a tea fan, you're going to be looking for teas anyway, so this is more just I wanted to grab a solid Earl Grey tea. Actually, because I'm me, some maple syrup. This has got to have some sweetener with your tea. This guy is called My Dad's Syrup, which is part of the Sunny Honey Company over in Pike Place Market. Look at how cute this is, it's just so cute. Number five. Oh, yes, the actual spoils of going to World Spice. I picked up some spices. World Spice has been killing my budget for several years now. I quite adore them, and they make wonderful collections of whole and ground spices. So today, Honestly, this one's really basically my shopping list for the week because we were out of some stuff. But it's still a good collection of thingies. I got, you know, just some Tella Cherry black pepper because we were really out. Um, some Indonesian pepper and some pumpkin pie spice. And the pumpkin pie spice smells amazing. These guys are, so this is about two ounces. I think this is about $4. 
This is an ounce I wanted to try out, and this is two ounces of the pumpkin pie spice, because you can only get ground and whole blends usually in two ounce amounts. And it's a really fun place to shop. I will say, if you're scent sensitive, be prepared. Going to World Spice is intense. Like the first time I went in there, I started having a coughing fit, but it is so worth it and it's so fun. I love World Spice. They know it, I know it. Number six, an amazing display of my wrapping capabilities. I tried. We got some salt to go with our spices down below. This guy is from Salmon Island Sea Salt. They do a really nice local flake salt. This guy, I think, let's see, yeah, six dollars. So you could probably get a smaller one. I've seen smaller little stocking stuffer sizes from them at the farmer's markets. So definitely keep that in mind. You don't need to go this big. It's just the size that I could find at Dolorenti. I mean, they have smaller Jacobsons, but Jacobson salt is made out of Portland. This guy is local, so shopping local today. All right, number seven. Yeah, stuff. Oh yes, so this piece, this is a note card by Ed Newbold. I just felt like everyone thinks of Seattle and thinks of orcas. I thought, hey, that's kind of cool. A few years ago, I really got into the idea of note cards as sort of tradable art because a lot of my friends don't necessarily have space or the ability to hang stuff, but you can usually put up a note card and you can just prop it on itself and I just think that's really cool. This guy was $2 with tax. I also went to Ugly Baby and LaRue because they're adorable and I picked up a color it yourself postcard very fancy and some stickers because i like stickers and unicorns and koalas are awesome especially with little hats and monocles wrapping up our little advent calendar journey number eight <laughs> okay so ending this on a sweet note i actually did wrap this twice because i wasn't sure what i was doing Get stiff, these will be stuck. Yay! Ending this on a super sweet note. So both of these would make amazing little stocking stuffers. We got the $2 cocoa pod in the Marignon for proof for indie chocolate, which I think is a really great way to sample a chocolate if you're not sure what bar you want to get, you can get a little sampler pack. It's about the same price of a bar if you get most of the varieties. And even so, $2 just to try this guy out. Not a big hit for the bank. At about $5, five or six, I forget how much this guy actually costs. Inside here are two dark chocolate Todd Noir from France, which I still always feel like even just a tiny box is super fancy, and it always makes me feel so special to get one of their boxes. Let me open it up for you guys. And Indie Chocolate are Bean to Bar and make their stuff on site, which is really cool. You totally go and see their whole facility, all the stuff happening, all the chocolate being made. While Franz is inside the Four Seasons and you always feel super fancy going in. So, they always give you a little info note in here. And let me show you guys the goods. They aren't the fanciest looking things, but inside here is a macadamia nut, and then there's a disc of caramel, and it's all topped in dark chocolate. These are one of my favorite confections in Seattle. These are both for someone who's really into chocolate. This is gonna be for someone who's more into confections and truffles and caramel. This is gonna be for someone who's really into learning about bean to bar chocolate and wants to just try a bunch of different stuff. Whether you get one or you get a bunch. Either way, they're gonna be really good gifts and really delicious. So that was my little advent calendar. I totally went a bit over my budget. I should tally up how much I actually spent. For the most part, the goal of these was to create Seattle-ish stocking stuffers that wouldn't break the bank. Whether you bought one or you bought all of them, this isn't that expensive a gift, but it's still gonna give you a nice bite of Seattle. I did not see that coming, but whatever. With that, I'd love to hear from you now in the comments below. Which one of those gifts is your favorite and you wish you get in your stocking or your gifts this holiday season? And as always, I'm Jess Salzerki, hoping that you get to go out and eat all the things and hopefully try some of these because they're pretty tasty. Later!